Welcome, everybody, to another uh, college football revamped Dynasty stream. We're back, and uh, we're here in our second season of the uh, college football revamped Dynasty. Obviously, last week, if you didn't catch it, we uh, won the national championship. Uh, took out Clemson in a very close game in the semifinal. And then... Uh, um, and then took down Alabama in kind of a, a a fairly comfortable game the whole time. Uh, then had some interesting stuff happen in the offseason. We had uh, a few different players leave, uh, a couple guys, a bunch of guys come back, some really good development among some players. Uh, we had John Haycock took the head coaching job at Illinois, and we replaced him with Gary Patterson as our defensive coordinator. So that's pretty cool. Tom Manning also left. I didn't catch where he went. Uh, so I'm not sure where he's coaching right now, but we have a new offensive coordinator. Um, not a big deal. We also realigned the Big 12 to get to kind of the old Big 12, which uh, so basically we let <laughs> we sent <laughs> we shipped Baylor off on a Viking funeral out to this out to the Sun Belt, and we brought back Texas A&M, Missouri, and Nebraska uh, to kind of form the old Big 12. But swapping out Baylor for TCU and Colorado for West Virginia. Uh, and then we've also got our custom schedule set up. Nice little schedule for us. Um, playing, I thought we were going to play at home versus the BYU. I don't remember. Because um, we are playing um, at BYU the first week. I think I did that to get the, start, the strength of schedule, but... We'll play at BYU. Um, then we'll get UAB because we're going to try to beat the absolute snot out of them in revenge for you know which game. And we've got Iowa. And we start conference play. And then we actually have this random non-con game stuffed in here against Indiana, which is actually going to be at a neutral site field. Um, if I remember correctly, we're playing that. I'm trying to remember where we actually have it set to play right now. Was it... Oh, it was at Soldier Field. Duh, I don't know why I didn't say it. But it's Iowa State and Indiana at Soldier Field, so that's going to be pretty cool. That'll be later in the season, obviously. Um, but, yeah, so we're kind of in our preseason stuff here um, so far. Uh, no, I'm not going to keep the changes. I don't know what to change, but I'm not going to keep it. Uh, but we do have a couple things left to do, which is set up our recruiting board, which is going to involve making a custom prospect. We're going to do that this year. And I put down, I put out a poll on um, – I put out a poll on Twitter – See what we should do. If, it should, if we should make one of our 2021, excuse me, yeah, I think it's, um, some of our, one of our 2021 prospects, or if we should uh, make a Cyclone Legend, or just make somebody random. Uh, and overwhelmingly, a Cyclone Legend won out. And there was a few different, um, there was a few different guys that showed up. Uh, Al Lazard showed up. Todd Blythe. Um, I saw a suggestion for Leonard Johnson. All good, uh, all good ideas, um, and I also got, and someone said Chuck Bruce, which I I would, but we've got Brees still. Well, this year I don't know. Maybe we make a running back. I don't know. We can always recruit another running back as well. Um, which Eli Sanders is not on this game, but we've we've still got Darrell Brock. We've got, you know, we're we're okay on halfback, and we can recruit one too. Um, but that's that's an option. We could get a receiver. We've got a lot of receivers on the on the staff on the room right now. Um, so I've been thinking about this a little bit and I want to look, kind of look at the depth chart actually and see kind of where we're at on depth wise to see who might be worth recreating. So Brock is going to be gone after this year for sure. You've got Aiden Bowman and Hunter Deckers sitting back there. Um, I kind of want to try to use one of those two, especially because like we look at like Hunter Deckers, he's got ADT speed. You know, he's he's a guy that can definitely be developed. Um, he's to improve his accuracy, but he's got good throw power. He should his throw power should actually be higher than that probably. Um, so I think we're okay we're okay on quarterback for right now. Running back we've got definitely taken care of for this year. Um, beyond that, we can use Darrell Brock. We can recruit a guy, whatever it is, because Johnny Lyon will be gone. Um, we do wide receiver. Um, we've got a couple wide receivers on here that are really good. We've got some really good young guys on here. Like we got that Jordan Fenner, our five-star athlete that brought in, which I'm kind of considering redshirting so we can hang on to him a little bit longer. 
Um, we've got the wide receiver room is really deep right now. Uh, granted, the top two guys are seniors. And fourth place is a tight end. Um, pretty ordinary. Oh, he's going to put Charlie Cole in there. Anyways. Um, you know, and then tight end. We could put a tight end. We could, we could remake like EJ Bibbs or something like that. Would be pretty cool. Um, so that's an option. You know, we could make a we could make an offense. We could make an offensive lineman like a like a Colecio Semele would be pretty cool. Um, maybe at some point we're when we will be a junior as a 98 overall. Um, could make a defensive player outside linebacker like you could make like an AJ Klein could be pretty cool cornerback we could definitely a Leonard Johnson could definitely fit in here pretty well um <laughs> kicker make Brett Culbertson um so there's a few options here I know that like, the popular picks would be like Dave Montgomery or Al Mazar, Todd Blythe, but we really don't need a running back, and we don't really need we really don't need a receiver. <laughs> so I'm I'm kind of leaning against making a receiver just yet. Maybe next year do an Alan Lazard. Um, just because we've got a lot of good young guys in that receiver room. So. I'm kind of at this point in time seeing if it were making a receiver one sneaky guy that I think would be fun to make um, instead of a Todd Blythe or an Alan Lazard would be like a JJ Moses. I think JJ Moses would be a lot of cool, a lot of fun to remake. Um, I'm almost kind of leaning like EJ Bibbs right now because we need a tight end and he was good. Oh, we, oh, we've got a, we've got one in here for Joel Landing, which I don't, I definitely don't hate that. You know what? What's our middle linebacker depth looks like? Because Ryan Vance is a senior. We're doing it. We're making Joel Landing. We're doing it. That is gonna happen. Okay, so we'll get to that. Um, we'll, we'll make Joel Landing. Um, I want to see the red shirts though, because I want to see if there's anybody in here that can be red shirted that should be like this guy should be red shirted oh, wait I want a red shirt yeah I want to red shirt him wide receiver okay we are gonna red shirt Fenner and Warren good so I've already got my red shirts taken care of can't really can't really afford to red shirt him unfortunately he's not very good <laughs> I think we're okay on the red shirts around here though. Those guys have already been red shirted. Red shirt Zach Peterson. Um He's pretty good. I'm gonna keep I'm not gonna I'm not gonna redshirt him just yet. Um Marcus Joseph. We'll redshirt this guy. 6'5 junior, man. That's he's a 6'5 linebacker. That's crazy. Oh no, we're gonna keep him because we're redshirting the other guys. Okay, those two. So I think we've got our Richards taken care of. Uh we've got red shirts taken care of. We've got our depth chart taken care of. Schedules taken care of. All right, it is time to set up our recruiting board, which means we're going to create a prospect. Now, I do want to look up Joel Lanning's actual measurables. I don't remember. I don't remember how tall he was. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Joel Lanning. I want to just find his. There we go. Joel Lanning was 6'2". 2017, he was 230 pounds. So he is from Ankeny. 
Actually, I'm assuming Ankeny. There we go, Ankeny. Uh, <laughs> position QB, middle linebacker, who cares? Um, middle linebacker, 6-2-2-3. Why is that default? <laughs> I um, wonder if there's like a I wonder if there's like a more accurate face of him Probably not But I don't know This will probably work We gotta give him some buff arms Or the chest That. Give or take. Something like that. Okay. Equipment. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know if they'll actually have his face mask on here because this is still old enough where it's got the old revolution on it. Oh, I missed it. Revo speed robot. I want to look to make sure I've got his face mask, at least close to right. He had kind of that two bar version of that. Damn. Yeah, you need like the two bar version of that, but I might just roll with that. That's pretty close. And he did have a visor, no neck pad, keep his shoulder pads down, not all the way bottomed out, but down. Uh, he pretty much just had wristbands, he didn't really wear any sleeves or anything, he had tight sleeves, oh wait, no, he had no sleeves there, he did have tight sleeves. Left wrist, it just had a white wristband on each one. Actually, they were tape, I should say. They weren't. I don't want to tape glove, I just want to tape wrists. Just like that. Oh, sorry, I had to take a second here to tweet. My main from my from my account and for the wide right account. Um, the, if anybody caught the drunk hist, like drunk Iowa State history podcast I did, uh, for football, well, the basketball one just came out. So if you're interested in listening to a drunk, if me do a drunk history podcast, uh, about Iowa State football or basketball, definitely check out, it's called college football stories or college basketball stories, um, podcast. And it was a lot of fun. I really highly recommend you check that out. But anyways, so that's about the extent. I'm looking at pictures of Joel Lanning. Let's see if I he didn't really have any. I'm trying to see if I can find like the bottom of his gear, like his legs. I mean, I don't think he really wore much of anything. Yeah, he didn't. He just had socks, basically. Like he had a little bit taller socks, like medium socks. Like your shoes, bugging me. Other than that, that's about what he did. He did have a he did have his QB flak jacket on, and he had a back plate. He he had a towel while he was quarterback, but I'm seeing like I'm looking at, like pictures from like the Oklahoma game, Liberty Bowl. I don't see a towel any of those games. Yep, I don't think he had a towel on during his senior season. He did have towel and a hand warmer during his um, junior season, but not his senior season. So we'll keep it somewhat historically accurate. Somewhere about right there. Okay, so skills. So speed, probably somewhere around like 
80. Strength gonna be because he was a quarterback for a while. He's a strong guy, but it was a quarterback for a little while. So I'm gonna keep him at 82. Agility. Not a super like agile guy. He's probably like somewhere in like the mid 70s, give or take. Acceleration is gonna be kind of the high 70s, low 80s. I'm gonna, he's probably gonna be a little bit slower build up, probably high 70s kind of guy. Awareness is gonna be very, very high. Probably in the neighborhood of like that. Probably 86 to start off, but then he'll grow. He'll it, it, that that rating will develop throughout his career too. Uh, break tackle somewhere up here. Trucking is going to be a little bit higher. Oh, not that high. Something like that. Not particularly elusive, so we'll just keep him in the 60s probably. Ball carrier vision. Very good ball carrier vision. Probably keep him in the... No, not quite that high. Somewhere in there. Stiff arm. Somewhere in there is probably right. I don't know if I ever saw him do a spin move or a juke move, really. Uh, carrying, very dependable ball carrier, so we'll, we'll keep him up there. Somewhere in the 90s, probably. Catching, I don't think he really ever did. Uh, we'll give him catching because he did have some interceptions. So we'll put somewhere right about there. Didn't really do any of that stuff. Jumping, we'll put him in. Not quite that high. Something like that. Throw power. So he did have he did have a good arm. So he's probably somewhere around like 90. Throw accuracy, probably like 72. Just to be if we're just gonna be honest. There's a reason he didn't stick out at quarterback. Uh, tackle, very solid tackler. Somewhere around 90. Hit power. Didn't really, didn't really see him laying around a lot of big hits or anything like that. Just a really solid wrap-up tackler. So we'll keep him at 80 hit power. Power moves. Didn't really use a lot of these around the line of scrimmage. Just more if he was blitzing, he was using some more finesse. But he really didn't pass rush like that much. And if he did, he wasn't taking on the line then. Block shedding, did generally a pretty good job there. Pursuit, very good pursuit angles, generally speaking. Um, keep him there, play recognition, kind of somewhere in that same range, probably. Man coverage, probably gonna keep that a little bit lower. He didn't really play much man coverage. And didn't, didn't really have to zone coverage. Generally pretty good. Keep him somewhere in there. He didn't really press anybody, so we'll just keep that fairly low. Didn't do much of that. Impact blocking. He did throw that one impact block for David, so we'll give him something. Return stamina. We'll give him 99 stamina. He's Mr. Iron Man. And 99 injury, because I don't remember him ever getting hurt. All right. And that is, I believe, a fairly accurate Joel Lanning. Which I didn't name. <laughs> All right. it is add to recruiting database all right set up recruiting board we already did that so now we can skip to recruiting
Oh, and he's interested. Ooh, and the second, re the number one receiver is interested too. How are we eighth on Joel Landing's board? We're gonna, we're gonna change that. That's pretty awesome though. Uh, well, let's just take care of the interested ones first. Actually, you know what? No, we need to do actually. We need to get a couple of tight ends in this. Match. Let's see here, tight end. A couple of these tight ends are looking pretty good. 6'4", 6'5", 6'5", 6'1". LOL. Uh, all right, so we're good there. We also are going to need a quarterback. Four star. I can dig it. This guy right here runs a 4 4 4 we're gonna check him out. He's six six and he runs a four four four. Wow, that is cooking. Um, we're also gonna need a running back. Anybody worth a damn? Interested? Not really. Okay. Um, so that guy's immediately locked out if you target any other running backs. I like this guy, but I'm also a big fan of this guy, Brandon Thomas, who runs a 4-3-2. Uh, four, four flat. Four four eight. I dig all that. Football fullback, I'm not really worried about. Wide receiver. We got two five-star receivers and a four-star receiver. All interested. Awesome. From Grand Island, Nebraska, huh? Jimmy Goolsby. <laughs> uh, let's see. Tight end we're already looking at. We need. We could use some tackles. Probably try to pull some of the interested ones in on this. got a lot of guards, so I'm not going to worry too much about all that stuff. The top two pass rushers. This is amazing. And the top defensive tackle. Grab a couple of those. Oh, outside linebacker class kind of weak. What do we got here? John Bailey. Uh, there we go. Could be corner there. From Fresno. These are all California, Florida. Okay, well, we'll leave that there. Free safety. Probably should try to grab one. Neither of those are close at all. Both of them are crazy fast, though. Oklahoma. We can probably get something. Get that guy. Any kickers? Damn. Athlete. Ooh, we got a five-star athlete. Like that. Um, all right, time to start looking at interested. Um, anywhere's fine. I want to find another tight end. See if there's any ones worth a damn that are actually interested to start with. Oh man, two stars. No. Um. How about any kickers? Good enough. Let's see what the number one kicker is. That kicker runs a 4 6. It's actually pretty impressive. 83 overall. Uh, okay, so we also need corners. 
distancing, we also need a center. Oh, we should get an outside linebacker. We're definitely short on those. Uh, any, anyone remotely interested? We have a terrible outside linebacker class. Those two guys look good. 72 overall there, and he's already interested. That works there. Let's grab a center. I know I picked one off the top 100 board, but please be good. Oh, he is good. Look at that. And I believe that's all for our board. Okay, so we got to kind of prioritize here a little bit because we can't just do everybody. We need... Oh, try right, again. Scout people. Make sure people are actually not terrible. Ooh, hello, Clint Long. All right, so we're good there. I think we're about ready to get rocking and a rolling. I think we're good. Uh, Steven Smith, Nightcap interviews you guys have done so far have been awesome. Who is the next person that you plan on having an interview with? Uh, I believe I can actually I can actually reveal that now. And this coming Monday will be Josh Lenz, former Iowa State receiver. Um, really excited about that. He was obviously part of the early Paul Rhodes era. Um, really, really nice receiver. Had a couple, had lots of really great plays. So definitely excited to talk to Josh Lenz uh, next Monday. But I do know that we've got some really exciting guests um, coming down the pipeline. Um, they're not like booked in just yet, but we're definitely uh, talking to a few of them, and maybe some other people uh, that are going to be pretty exciting. Uh, we're really excited about um, our upcoming guests, for sure. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any other feedback on the Nightcap, because there, it seems like you guys have been really enjoying the interviews on the Nightcap, um, but if there's anything you guys have that's like that you would love, that, like if you, well, one, if you have particular guests that you'd be interested in us talking to, or if you have any, like any suggestions at all, honestly, in general, like just something we could be doing better or whatever, definitely let us know. Um, oh, we got a basketball question. Thoughts on Ots and re recruiting the last two weeks? Um, the last two weeks for Ots, I mean, you, it, you can't describe it as anything short of excellent. I mean, basically the best possible start for him. Um Really, nothing more than that. Honestly, he's he's had he's had basically the best possible start he could have asked for, um, for the beginning of his of his tenure. So, um, yeah, uh, getting tame in Lipsy was huge. Uh, In-state, you know, local guy. He's in, he's pretty underrated right now because of his injury, but I really think he's going to be. I think he's going to be a really impressive player. Um. We get our bonus points for Joel Lanning because he likes all of our stuff. And we uh, can also uh, dedicate extra points to him because of our recruiting tree skills. I don't really need to, I don't need to scout Joel Lanning because I made him. Um, I think we're going to do pretty good. In here, look at our bonus compared to everybody else, and we can dump a lot of points into these guys. Um, We'll be okay on him. So let's go through these. Is it this guy? So he's got his number five. He has his number nine. So 
this Jake Williams guy. We're gonna want, I'm gonna offer him both of I'm gonna offer him both a scholarship. I'm gonna dedicate like 200 points to each of them just to see just to see how we're doing, to see if we're keeping up, if it's worth pursuing both of them. I don't know. We'll we'll figure that out. Um, running back, which is the one that was stupid fast. 87 speed. He's got 91 speed. 95 speed. 93. We'll definitely offer scholarships to Clint Long, Brandon Thomas, probably this guy. I mean, we can always we can we can offer scholarships. Um. I'm thinking we really want to go after this guy and this guy. Um, let's go after, let's just put a couple hundred points into him just to see kind of where we're at with him. Um, but I really want to get after Brandon Thomas. He's stupid fast. Um, we'll just put, actually, we'll just put 300 points in um, for now. We can adjust that later. Um, any receivers that we really want? I mean, he's the number one receiver. He's a number four receiver. I'm thinking we want to go after Jimmy Goolsby for sure. We want to get him. Yeah, he's got 92 speed. I mean, we lost him overall there. Oh, it's because his catching rating sucks, but that's okay. That can be developed, no problem. Um, Ronnie Hodge. We'll offer him a scholarship because we're already... He's already interested in us. Um, what's this guy's rating look like? He's got 94 speed. I'm thinking we want to kind of put some effort into him. Maybe start off with like 300 points. These, these are all going to get adjusted later too. We get good bonus points for these guys every week and stuff like that too. So... All right, tight ends. We need to get some of the. We need to get at least one of these guys, preferably, but preferably two. We'll go after these two guys. Uh, we'll put 300 into each of them. Just to kind of see how we how we're pacing with the other schools on those. We, we really need one of those. We'll just put a couple hundred. Or just put, I don't know. That's even worth putting 100 points. We're, we don't break we're down on a bonus on that guy too. We'll just see where he's at. Um, a guard. Off of the scholarship anyways. Um, we need... better than we think he is. We'll give him a scholarship. He's already interested in us. We'll put a few hundred points into him just to kind of see where he's at. Um, give him a scholarship. Put a couple hundred points into him. Maybe 200. All right, defensive end. Number one defensive end in the country wants to be here. Actually, it was the top two, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so we're going to put 300 into him. Maybe 200 into the other guy since we're already so right there. We'll, we'll, put him, we'll put him at 200. These will get refined and stuff like that later just to see how people are doing their stuff. We'll offer them scholarships. We need an outside linebacker bad. Let's I want to scout this guy just to see if he goes up at all. Is it worth going after the guy that's already into us but is a little bit lower or try to go after this guy that's a little bit better rated or a little bit further out? 
We'll do that for now. We'll have a bunch of points left over um, from all the scholarships that we offered because we have, we'll have some left over to use. But that gets us where we need to go. All right. I think we're about ready to play. Still crazy that we got Gary Patterson as our defensive coordinator. Um, he's probably only going to be here for like one season because we'll have a good defense again and then he'll get hired away as a head coach. But. Um, yeah, I think we're. Ooh, here's our Heisman watch. There's Brees Hall right there. Eric King, Michael Penix Jr. Nice. Could have a Heisman show down there at the, with that week seven against um, Indiana. Toughest places to play. Where's Iowa State at? Where's Jack Trace at? Nineteen. Mm, let's see. I need to get updated. Sixty-one five. But we shall take the long track. Wow, we are 99 overall. Oh, you know what I did to change though, because Tyreek or Terry Hill, Tariq Milton is uh, criminally slow. Actually, I did want to check out a couple other things too. Specifically, my five-star athlete that I got last cycle. I want to see what his gear looks like because he's got to look cool. Has to look cool. Um. All right, Tariq Milton needs to be faster, like dramatically faster. Um, his speed is like there at least. He also has a speed robot too, not a re not a speed robot. Yeah, I probably kicked with the ninety nine, but you know what? That's not my problem. Uh oh, other guy. Fenner. Jordan Fenner. He is Oh, he looks weird. No, we're gonna get, we're gonna change some of that. I don't like any of that. You're right there. Give him a badass visor. Bottom half sleeves I can dig. Maybe tight sleeves. That looks ripped. Holy cow. What's the rest look like? Yeah, the rest of that's fine. The huge pads were unacceptable, though. Let's change this jersey something something low. Something. Oh, five. Uh, 29. All the other ones are taken. Three. I kind of think it's six. Yeah, Jordan Fenner's gonna be number six. But we will see him next season. So it won't even matter. All right, I think we're ready to go. Check out our uniforms. Now we're gonna go all white. Let's see here. Yeah, we can use the we can use those. Alright, let's do it. Interesting. Shane Bouchelle has a player card. I'm old enough to remember when he was a player for Texas. Top players home. We've got a bunch of 99s now. They've got some high 90s. We've got 
Charlie, Mike Rose, and Brock Purdy all 99 overall. Hi, everybody. Hi everybody. Reece Reece Davis, Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports, Sports NCAA, NCAA Football 14 pregame show, show presented by, by Nissan. Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're live from Provo, Utah, Utah in picturesque Lavelle Edwards Stadium. Stadium. We're just moments, moments away from, from kickoff. Kick. We'll see, we'll see how this game plays out, out as they get ready, get ready for the opening kickoff. kickoff. Number 25, deep to return. And, there and there's, there's the opening kick, kick of the season. This one's, one's going to be down, down in the end zone for a touchback. Oh, we, we have a chance to see it a year ago, and he was sensational. If he's anything like he was last year, look out this season. The quarterback leads the team out of the field for the first drive. No, somebody else. The 33 yard line. You can, you can tell, tell he's got a lot of faith, faith in his wide receivers. receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can, they can pull it in and make something happen. Second, Second and two coming up here. All of the 33. This is one of their special plays they like to call to keep the defense off balance. When you can get first downs in unconventional ways, you have the edge over your opponent. Get out there. 37 yard line. And you know, Kirk, we get a chance to see one of the great players. From echo last with the gear. And if he has the kind of season he had. Let me see if I can fix that. Oh, I know exactly what the problem is. Okay, that should I mean, be better. We could be talking about national awards. I had to change a setting on my roadcaster. From their own Cole Peterson yard line. I hear doing some damage. Down. Play action. Oh no. Quick throw. And he's taken down at the 35 yard line. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. From the 35 yard line, first down. And he's tackled around the 33 yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That brings up second and nine. We're on a cover two. Three down, three down. Hey, check back 34. Mike, 34. Brought down the 24 yard yeah. line. The offense coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. And down he goes around the 23-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. I'm bringing a little pressure. Here's the eighth play of the series. Check 50, check 50. Oh, Shim Young is going to be coming in hot. Nice run. That and he's going to get blocked. Call it a gain of seven yards. Third down. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Team. Now the defense didn't surrender much running more than there, but the run was, was still enough for the for first For some reason, down. I was expecting them to be like full air raid. This is the tenth player. Bring a little pressure. Oh, Tavon! Intercepted. Smart, heady play by that defender. That you got to pick that up, man. Fundamental pass defense. That makes it second. Ridiculous. 
Um, it's second run. and ten. Ball on the thirteen. A little bit of man here. About five yards and the quarterback keeper. Need to crank up your Simeon's hit power to like 90 or better. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Mike Rose will be our spy. Looks middle. Yeah. Got his back. Tackle made at about right, the down. five yard line. That'll be a gain of three yards. That should yards. be a field goal anyway. This is just a little dump off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. This isn't much more than an extra point. Brigham Young could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up and it sails through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. What is Breeze Hall doing him back here? And it goes into the oh, end so zone, down for anymore. a touchback. <laughs> all right. Let's see. What do we want to do? The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. They'll bring him down at the 34. Gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. Direct snap. Yes, please. Direct snap to the back. He's taken down at about the 35. Oh, he was short. It's third down, right. and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. They are blitzing. They'll be okay. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Looks like they're here. trying to catch the defense off guard here. That makes it first and ten. Let's see what they do. See if they line up like that again. Yeah. Gets out to around the 48. That's All right, now we're going to. That brings up second and one. We're on a play action. I'm going to see if we can't get Hutch going that way. Tries to throw oh, the needle and it's not going to work. Tackle. That should have been higher. Like, I, I lobbed it even. They're supposed to go. Over top of Sean Shaw. And he didn't do it. From their own 48 yard line. Left First down. Right. Brigham Young has a three point lead. And he hits him hard at the 47 yard line. Loss of one there for the halfback. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. He fights forward to around midfield. Right. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll Run make some dollar. Cover two spots. They need to get it inside the 42. And we'll have them contain the QB. Someone picked something off sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. Damn. Feels like he should have picked at least one of those off. Lang, the return man. And this one is a beauty. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20.
The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up They're for that interception man. on the last drive. So if that I guy look for the fails to inside, we're going to have a lot of running plan as before. You don't make changes yeah. after one play. And he has it on the corner. That's a great tackle at the 30-yard line. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. The Cougars with a three-point lead. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Ready? Let's see what kind of coverage they run in here. And he's right. level at the 36. Gain of six on the play. First down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Good for a gain of six yards. That brings up second. Um. We're a high low From their option, own 42 yard line. Second down. Let's see what Xavier does, but Tariq, or actually Sean Shaw may also have a lot of room here. But Tariq throws left, picked off. He's tackled right around the 40. going poorly. Brigham Young holds a field goal lead. And it looks like they're going to bring some heat. He's he makes his down. way to about the 32. A gain of eight on the carry. Oh, that's the guy that's leading for the Heisman. That makes it second and two. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They'll bring him down behind the line. Good job there by Daytron Young. On the play. That makes it third and three. I'm thinking we'll bring some more heat. They're struggling to deal with it right now. Check nine, check nine. Ready. Yes, 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 yes. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. From the 20 yard line. First down. How many freaking Romneys are on this team? Gets to about the 17 yard Taylor line. Taylor Romney throwing to Gunner Romney. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes it second and eight. it out to about the 17 yard line all right no gain stop him here it third and seven and here's another third down quick throw out to the receiver incomplete stop him here give him another field goal go down get a touchdown Brigham Young is up by three. Kicks up, and he's got it. All right. Time to stop messing around. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This kid's got a ridiculous And they can forget play. about returning this one. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last and possession. And I don't think here. this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Quick pass. Oh, and he's he taken down at the 27 yard line. Freaking lineman would have gotten out of the way. From their own 27 yard line, it's second down. Quick 
quick strike to the receiver. Hager. No. And he's go. tackled right around midfield. Called a gain of 23 yards. That makes it first and 10. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 49 to fight. Watch 49. Ready, ready. Zips it to the back. Brought down. Damn, the somebody block somebody. Number 62 makes the tackle at the 49 yard line. That brings up second and nine. We're in sale. From the 49 yard line. Sale. Second down. He's blitzing. Quick oh, strike and he drops it. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. Third down. I this was the, or was it a bunch formation that had that Seattle play? I'm gonna keep an eye on Tariq, but I'm gonna send Dean on a slot on a slant. There's Charlie. And they push him out right around the 32 yard line. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. some time so he made a really good move at the line of scrimmage sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play Seattle there it is from the 15 yard line it's more of a deep it's first down I think Shaw might be open here would have been a big play by the defense. He right. can't hold it. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge oh, sigh of relief because he got away with throwing yeah, what should that. have been an interception. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. They'll look to convert here on stick. another third down. Probably look, try to look for Shaw here. He's under some heat. Or try to get it the ourselves. And of course it fumbles right there. Once the ball hits it? the ground, it's a matter of luck and will. And on that play, it was the defensive Horrible. end who crowded for his side. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Brigham Young, up six. Get out. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. Let's see if they run goal line. Um, they're not running goal line again. Second down. They've got their backs against the wall. The Cyclones had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. They're showing blitz. Hey, alert three, alert three. Let's hot. A two-yard run by the halfback. Iowa State's going to use their first time out of the half here. There's a minor injury. We'll sub in Aiden Bowman. We're actually going to sub in Hunter Deckers. I messed that up. I wanted to sub 
Or Deckers and Frame Dog. It's third down. Defense will be digging in here as they're inside their own five. He makes it to the six-yard line. Iowa State will have one timeout remaining. All right, let's make him punt. Lang is back awaiting the punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Lang fields it at the 50. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. All right, we've got one timeout. Man, I would love to get a score here. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. There are five wide receivers split out, the quarterback in the gun. And they make the stop right around the 16-yard line. The Cyclones, they're going to have to take call a shot at the end zone. Final timeout. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to that move the ball against this defense. defense. Take a shot at the end zone. We can't get it. Throw it First away. First and kick 10. Ball. ball on the 16. Well, let's see if the third time's a charm down here in the red zone. So they run the same pass play again. Yeah, typically you'll see this when teams are having success with a particular player. They feel confident about a play's chances. Let's take the field goal now or try one more time. I'm thinking we'd take one more chance at it. Um, Second down, 10 yards We're going to take one more chance at it. On the 16-yard line. Um, one more play now. But if I don't get it, if I can't get it off so right away, throw one just towards the end zone here. Chuck another one. He's on the run. Runs Two, with it, and he's got room. One, okay. Steps out of That's bounds fine. at the 12-yard line. Take the field goal. Get out of there with some points and get the ball back at halftime. The kick is up, and he got it. All right, we've played a half of football here. The yeah, that was also my fear, too, because I, I know that kicker only had, like, 64 kick power. Which is not enough. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down every very close All right. game now. Time we to get our stuff together. Half. He just drills this one. And he's going to call for a fair catch. I'm trying to get Brees some more action. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden they is going to be blitzing. felt by their defense. One of those two is going to get free. Dumps it complete. It's the fullback over the middle. Did he actually fumble that? Up the loose ball. What the so hell? The defense recovers the ball after the Why is, why it is everybody well, fumbling He's really going to hear about it from his coaches. you got to protect the football. Why? They're set to go for another round. Why round. must I fumble everything? Brigham Young is up a field goal. They go with the run. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. Sanity. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From the 25-yard line, it's second down. Three down, three down. Watch two, watch two. Hey. And it looks like they might be bringing some pressure here. And a goal after a decent pickup. Gain of five on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Right, 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 right. Check, check 43. And that's separated. Oh, he caught that? 
the hell? It's first down. Oh, They're oh looking for six BYU's points here. Everything. They'll bring him down at the two. This is smart, efficient play calling. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. So here we go. It's third and goal from the two-yard line. Three down, three down. Hey, go Mike, Mike 34, Mike 34. quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. He stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. The worst thing is I can't point. seem to finish. So I can't play 26 yards. All of my positions have ended in turn. Brad, I think that was a textbook throw. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the it's play insanity. calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. So our like score. I'm, I'm just going to have to turn into conservative so that they don't. I'm never going to be able to break a tackle again, but at least I won't. At least I won't fumble. It's crazy. There's got to be some sense no of reason urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gets it. He's in space. And he hits him hard. The 39-yard line. Number 28 brings him down at the 39-yard line. First down. Catches it, and that's all. Four yards on that play. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. Ready. Scrambling around. No, he will not He's catch under me. pressure. He's knocked out of bounds at the 48. And he tucked that one in for about five yards. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Makes it to the 41. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. Oh my Most God! Quickly, it's almost intercepted. Just get it over us, somebody for once. Was the intended receiver on the play? That makes it second and ten. Okay. From the 41-yard line, second down. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. Coverage and it's intercepted, and he is drilled at the 38. No goddamn protection. First and ten. Ball on the 38 yard line. Bad. Snags it complete out of bounds, though, and they're going to lose yardage. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11. 
Ball on their own 37. at the 45. A gain of eight on the carry. That makes it third and three. Get him down. Get there, get there. And won't hey. make it. That's what I need. One yard loss for the halfback. That is a loss of one yard. That brings up fourth and three. Lang is back deep to return. And this one is a beauty. Little too much leg into okay. that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Didn't feel the like day has not one, gone very well for this young man. Well, it, there's no way his team can come back and win this game with the way he's playing right now. He's got to be able to avoid the mistakes and move forward and try to get his team back in this game. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line. Now, that's how you run a corner run that again. He exploded out of his cut and beat the man coverage for a new set of downs. From their own 43-yard line, first down. A running man. He throws. And he tackles him hard at the 40. Willis makes the tackle at the 40-yard line. First down. scrambling and he throws it away good job here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play from the 40 yard line it's second down throws complete he's got space to work and he's taken down at about the 15-yard line. Well, I tell you, these guys have some skill players who can make things happen. They picked up an enormous amount of real estate on that play. He's going to try and scramble. Players in there, got it, touchdown. Great throw. Exactly what we needed right there. the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game and he hits the PAT a five All right, play, one more stop yard drive and a touchdown one more stop result. Brad I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receiver any sort, even a field goal would be fine making it very tough for the defense to slow him down so the score now 13 10 whoa he just took a licking So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Brigham Young is up by three. Will McDonald just blasted that left tackle. That'll make it second. Score on for Will McDonald. So the sack makes this a second and long. Three down, three down. Ready! One eighty! Why? Brought down around the 32 yard line. Defend it for me. No, okay. I wasn't going to take that over me. I'm not sure the quarterback <laughs> saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he I stuck his ball right in the passing like that at this point in time. 
Really wish Tavon Kyle would have caught that, but. From their own 32 yard line. Second down. Hit good. Good game the tackle. 33 yard line. The halfback picks up That's a yard. A gain of one yard. All right. That'll make it third and nine. Hey guys, tie left, tie left. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. 34's the mic, 34's the mic. He's coming. Check him. Check him. Ready. Ready. Good enough. It's been a stop. defensive masterpiece through three. Who'll draw up points We're just in the gonna final make... quarter? Smart decisions. The Cougars in front, 13-10. Back to the action much, here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. All of that. Brigham Young holds a field goal lead. <laughs> Booming kick. And he's taken down oh, at the 29. Here we are early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight ball game. And every possession is going to count from here on out. Quick strike to the receiver. And down he goes around the 38-yard line. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's scrambling, and he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. That's a gain of six on the play. That makes it first and ten. From their own 44-yard line, it's first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Again, other side of the field this time. They're playing lots of man. And he's tackled around the 40 yard line. Good night to that guy. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40 yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And they make the stop right around the 26-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here. And again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. There's a strike complete. He's taken down around the 9-yard line. Makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He fights forward to about the seven. A couple of yards there on the option of the halfback. That brings up second and goal. This is the ninth play of this drive. Key 15, key 15. Check, 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 check. Ready. Gets to about the five yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it check, check, Mike. Regular, regular, regular. Ready. 980. Check, check. Regular, check, regular. check. Regular. check regular. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. 
Number nine, the intended receiver on the play. Question is, do I think I can get a stop? Yep, I can get a stop. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks up, and it puts the uprights. And with that field goal, we are all tied up. Yeah, that was a clutch field goal without a doubt. Iowa State ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Three down, three down. 34 is the mic. Ready. Five, 80. Wide. 80. Motion. He takes it right side for a good game. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Less than three minutes in the game. And they get nice yardage on that run. Showing blitz. There was some movement on the line. All start. False hey. start. Offense. Sometimes what that. happens on a false start is a lineman will see Still movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. He's under pressure. They bring him down. Nice. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Make it second and long. Man left, man left. Kill, 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 kill. Ready. He wants it all going long. He did not just catch. catch that. Down the sideline. I was right there to defend Touchdown, it. BYU. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 88-yard drive, and they put up seven points. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. You know, and yesterday, in talking to the defensive coordinator, he felt very confident that his team could step up and make plays to win this game. This is gut check time. He knows that. I could see him talk to his defense before they ran out of the field for this pivotal series. Just over two minutes in the game. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they push him out at the 45-yard line. Gain of 20 on the play. First down. From their own 45-yard line. First down. He scrambled. They bring the quarterback down. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Now he tries to buy some time. He gets rid of this one. Sanity. All right.
third down and long, and they could really Charlie's use a big open play by this. their quarterback here this late in the game. Oh, it's just Five wide. Nice. They'll bring him down at the 41. That's good for a game of 17 yards. First down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Tackle made at the 21 yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. No, they really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. You've got to be more careful with the football. From their own 18-yard line, first down. They're crowding the line. Heading for the corner. Tackled after a decent pickup. The Cyclones will use their first time out of the half. That makes it second and six. Larry, Larry. Just over a minute left. Hand off, and he's met immediately. Iowa State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Of two yards on the play. That makes it third and seven. From their own 21-yard line, third down. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. He's in trouble. Fires that quickly. Oh, I could have used the interception there. Number two was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. He really got a hold of that one. He's to the 40. Tries to get around the corner. Knocked out of bounds. Around the 49-yard line. Hall's the guy that we've been talking about for three hours, Kirk, and now he's in the spotlight. Yeah, this is an exciting opportunity here in this football game for this offense. you got to think that they're going to find a unique way to get the football into his hands. Now it's just a matter of can this defense slow him down and stop him. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He gets to 100 yards receiving with that grab. This guy is capable of doing this game in and game out. He's that good. And this young man picked quite a time to do it. Thursday night in front of a national audience. Tackle right around the 8-yard line. First and goal. They come out in a five wide set. He's tackled at about the three yard line. Iowa State will take their last time out. That brings up second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the three yard line. Under a minute left in the game. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point late in the fourth quarter. And with that score, we are now tied. And the way things are going, we might be going to an extra session uh. or two. Davidson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. deep 
It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. Taken down at the 30 yard line. The Cougars taking their first time out of the half. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 30 yard line. Short over the middle. He's hit and taken down. Jackson. Gained six yards with a short completion. Brigham Young will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Man left, man left. Check nine, check nine. Ready, 180. He airs it out. I'm not, I'm, he just straight up ran past it. Second, way better tighten it up. Take a slow Kimani down. Kimani King, down. go fuck regular, yourself. Regular. What in the unholy fuck? Oh my god, if I get a turn over here. Dumps it complete to the halfback, over the middle. Brought down at the eight. What are they doing? Call your timeout! <laughs> what is happening? He's wide open in the end zone. Touchdown! What just the happened? Quarter, and the big question is, and what is Anthony Johnson doing? Crack first. And he converts the extra point. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score. What was 27-20 Cougars? What was Anthony Johnson doing? He just left him in the end zone. Why? Why? I hate everything. It always got to be the dumbest fucking way to lose ever. Oh. All right, UAB is gonna get. He's gonna catch some. He's gonna UAB is gonna catch these hands. Time to check my recruiting board. <laughs> Why? All right. I'll put a few more points into him. Give him a scholarship. We're making up ground, I believe, on him, on Joel Lanning.
How we doing, Jimmy Goolsby? Oh, we're pulling away. Clint Long. Put a few more points into him. Oh my god, we fell way behind on this guy. We're gonna just ditch him. Get Jake Williams. Check the other guy. Put a few more points on him. Oh god, we're getting killed. Gonna go right into it. Let's go Cardinal, Cardinal Black. Eh. Alternate pants, white alternate pants. That last game was a nightmare. But I'm hoping to destroy. Hi, everybody. UAB. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Interesting that they did still have it built into the logic on this. Both teams have sent their special to teams out of the field and we're ready right for the opening team. kickoff. Even though most teams kick out. He'll take it from the two. Tackle at the 19 yard line. Kickoff return 17 yards. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Double tight, double tight. Two down, two down. Watch two, watch two. Ready? Red, 18. Motion, motion. And down he goes, right around the 18-yard line. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Two tight, two tight. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 18. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. So the option play gets some big yards right there. Yeah, you know, it's amazing how sometimes this guy is able to find a hole and get through it. Oh, God. Matias is in the comments now. It's going to be bad. Positive yardage. Call it a game. 
of the coach's glasses are weird. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. From their own 35 yard line, it's third down. the catch and he steps out i thought there was a chance he'd be brought down before getting to the marker it was a great effort there to get beyond for the first down He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Scrambling around. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Right, we'll cover three. Yeah. Ooh, and then we got fourth down. The defense that held here. their ground on that play. The but quarterback just Cole wasn't Peterson able to find any open receivers. Greenwell is the punter. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. No. And he's oh, taken down at the 23 yard line. The Cyclones offense basically impact player. On what this kid yeah. Do. Thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, five is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. Iowa State's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinator. He's scrambling. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second and 10. Ball on the 35 yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Oh, don't come back for it. Guns it to the back, and he tackles him hard at the 36-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. He's on the run. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 45. To be successful, he's got to be able to come through on third down, and that's just what they did with that big run. From the 45-yard line, first down. Rolling out to the right side, and he throws it away. 
Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 21, Mike 21, check Mike 21. <laughs> Got it, complete, he's out of bounds. This isn't even the best example, but I'm gonna tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. First down, uh, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24 yard line. Can't hit Joe Quarterback here. all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He scrambled. Yeah, Quarterback's going to run it, and he's RB got room to work. Was, but he's yeah. taken down at the 16. Yeah. I could have hit him, but... Here's the eighth play of the series. really want to hit. Skates here. I think he's going to They come out on an empty backfield. And that sets them up for the first and goal. scrambling but I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him he's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket it's second and goal one yard to the goal line touchdown Iowa State And he hits the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Time to check out what's going on in Norman. The Sooners grab it by 18. Iowa State is lining up to kick this one off. Much better start. I don't know. I just like excellent kick. That, that first game just is a huge bummer for me. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. The Cyclones really took care of business on defense that first time out, Herbert. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's oh, out to the 30. Happening? He's to the 40. The 50. This is not real. Okay. Tackle made right around the 34. Just decided nobody's going to tackle him. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. Jeez, we got triple That's option there. Tackle around the 17-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. This option's ridiculous. Setting up the play-action. And he's taken down at about the 9-yard line. Vance on the tackle at the nine yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Three down, three down. Hey, check back 34. 90, 90. Gets to about the quarterback is breaking line. tackles. A gain of a yard place. and the quarterback keeper. Focus on the quarterback. Dean Short Dickey. yardage situation here. It's third and one. At 
after one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 7-0, Cyclones. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Tackles at about the five yard line. That's how we do it, That's how we do that one, man. Get a one over there. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they are very close to tying this thing up. Two down, two down. Check, check, check. Ready. Check, check, check. Nice run up the middle. Stanley picks up about four yards on the play. That brings up second and goal. Watch this, watch this, watch this. And the goal line defense digging in here. Brought down around Head. the two yard line. Boy, Did you see down. how the defense just Crazy. swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. McDonald. He'll be taken down behind the line. You know, there's a reason why this guy gets all the odds. It's because angle. he makes great plays like this look routine. Not that I'm expecting him to miss because the field CPU like never misses field goals, but. And the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. UAB ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And he's tackled the 21 yard line. In a game that's again. this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. There are five wide really receivers want to split out. The quarterback in the gun. Why? The Why can they pick off everything? And down he goes, right around the 20. Just lob it. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future. Fight song feels excessively heroic. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20 yard line. They'll get him for a loss. The halfback took the pitch but couldn't find any running lanes. And there were no running lanes because this defense had so much penetration into the backfield. We would have been lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Tries to buy some time. Get to that quickly. That's and right. They make I didn't the want to stop the 15 yard line. I think he could have taken a risk that's down the field, but he yards. played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 15 yard line. The 17-yard line. Called a loss of two yards on the play. Fourth down. And it's good. Oh, sorry, I'm not being very talkative. I'm just he like really in my own head right now. Kick. 
He's to the yeah, 20. Johnny Lang. He's tackled oh, at the 28 yard line. Iowa State's oh, offense is just clicking on all cylinders for me right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Iowa State is up one. Over the middle to his tailback. And he's tackled around the 33-yard line. For my 99 with my crazy good offensive line, Trevor Downing. Hell. And hey. they'll probably try to throw yeah, this here. time. They line up on third down and 14. Throw a lob pass if I have to throw it over a line. They come out in a five wide set. Looks like they might be blitzing. Throws and that one's gonna hit the ground incomplete. Now it's gonna be fourth good. down. Nice defense. That was I'm gonna go for perfect it. Perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. But instead of just doing random four verticals, someone the field Brees in Hall the gun with five wide receiver. receiver. Regular, regular, regular. No, he's not going to do that. He's going to do one of these. Regular, regular, regular. It's dumb. I don't know why I did that. It wasn't even far enough. They went for it he didn't even catch it anyway, so why does it matter? I'm not quite sure what they were trying to prove with that. It's the first half, and they're going for it on fourth down. They can really pay for it now, unless their defense comes out here and makes a big defensive stop. Momentum uh. swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game of seven yards. It's really making me three. angry. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Three down, three down. The Just ten. running people over. The five. Who even cares? Touchdown. Just Blazers. right through everybody. <laughs> Whatever. No big deal. Converts the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Crimson Tide came into the game ranked number one. I'm not much for the whole statement game thing, but that was a statement. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. The Cyclones quarterback, Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on a team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. Yeah, it's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job. Right now, when you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. I feel like nobody's getting open. This is really annoying. Okay. Okay. Bring him down at about the 49. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. He's Charlie Cole. The tiny, to the 10. They bring him down, but not before he gets a glimpse of the end zone. Big pickup through the air has made it first and goal. Touchdown, Cyclones. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone.
Here's the extra point that can give them the lead. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. Davidson has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other right. gets I right back into it. It's Instead exciting. of just sitting, I'm going to go balanced here. I want to go conservative there. Right there. That should be fine. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. There's a strike complete, and he's down. That's a game of six on the play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Right 34, right 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. 180, 180. Loss of one there for the halfback. Probably should have just taken the time out take their the first time out of the half. Oh, well. Third and five. Ball on their own 22. He gets another carry. Runs it left for a decent game. Iowa State will have one timeout remaining. That'll bring up fourth and one. Just on the uh, just on the super off chance I get a friendly Lang is back deep to return situation. the punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He dropped oh, it. Oh, or he muffs it. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. Thanks, Johnny Lang. That's the end of the half, and believe it or not, folks, it's still anyone's ball game. 14-13, Iowa State. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin, and we got a tight game here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. I'm going to run that post play again because I feel like it. So now both teams really like come it. trotting back out onto the field. Iowa State with a one-point lead. Rose intercepts. No, he dropped it. He was that close to making he a big play. This safety is right, just kicking like himself for dropping inside. And he just decided to take the shittiest route of all time. Um, From their own 20-yard line. Stick looks like. Second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. Run drive, so he's just coming straight across instead of on that angle route. They come out on an empty backfield. Regular, regular, regular. Scrambling around. He's under pressure. Catches it, but oh, good, he steps good. out. He would have been better off letting that one go. Called a loss of one yard I'm going for it because I'm tired that of this. Up fourth and 11. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. This is a pretty controversial call. I really would have expected them to punt this ball. It's Where did that guy come back, from? He can't haul it in. What the heck are they thinking there? They just handed the, the other slowest team route the ball of all time by Breeze. Field position. Man, it just doesn't make any sense. 
There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Nobody can bring this running back down on the first hit either. It's ridiculous. Breaks every tackle. It's second and five here. Ball on the 14. Two down, two down. He's on the run. He did not get that. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Gave it to good him. run by the Come halfback. On. That'll be good enough to move the chains. This young man ran with some purpose there and picked up six yards. five-yard line the back gets three on the carry that brings up second and goal we've got second and goal five yards to the goal line they line up in the jumbo set they're gonna pitch it tackle made right around the four-yard line that's a game of one on the play that makes it third and goal So it's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. UAB can take the lead here with this field goal. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. Need to find a new kick for returner. A fair catch. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's got an opening. Good outside run there. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Runs right for a nice game. The quarterback held on to it and turned it into a first down. That's very frustrating for this defense. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. I really wish there was more inside runs. Like, I don't know, every run in this is runs outside zone. It's really annoying. I just want a nice inside zone. That's all I want. They're about four yards away here on second down. Let's see what a draw it is. Nothing, because Trevor Downing didn't down in the backfield. That is a loss cool. of one yard on the play. Third down. I feel like Trevor Downing has been struggling. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down around the 46 yard line. First down, and 10 yards to go. See if we can find. Find Xavier Hutchinson. Or just whatever. 
Now the quarterback should have thrown that one out of bounds. There was just no room to get it past that Well, safety. I threw it to the side, but apparently not. UAB is up Very annoyed at this game right now. He's tackled at the 46. The running back gets two on the carry. Good stop there by the freshman. You got to be careful with this offensive attack because one missed tackle could mean trouble. From their own 46 yard line, it's second down. Stanley gets the call again. They bring him down in the backfield. Take your eye off him in coverage, and he'll create a big play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 44. They're showing blitz. And down he goes at about the 47-yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Here's a run. Tackle right around the 44-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. down now they need to get it down to the 34 UAB holds just a two-point lead he's going right he's at the 20 of course he's he can his just receiver it's right the right over and he's heads. taken down at the 15 14 brings him down at the 15 yard line first down from the 15 yard line. First down. That's insanity. That's three down and one to go. The Blazers in front by two. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Gives it left side. Tackled after a decent pickup. Seven yards there on that bit of misdirection. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing to defend this damn read option, because. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Check three, check three. Gets to about the five-yard line. That's a three-yard pickup on the option. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Strike to his receiver, no good. Pick that Smart off. Play. I'm tired ready for the pass. Tavon Kyle of you not picking shit off. That makes it fourth and inches. That would have been just about a pick six. They're going to go for the easy three here. UAB with a two-point advantage. It's up, and the field goal is good. Of course, computer never misses field goals. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. 
Johnny Lang. Brought down at the 36-yard line. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 36. Oh, I threw it away. The I threw it away. To take sacks at this point in this ball game. No, they cannot. God. This is do or die time. And nobody's getting open anywhere. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna run you over. I'm gonna there are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's rolling right. Let's Don't see worry. If the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. That makes it fourth and long. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Five wide. Fires incomplete. He was wide open. Trailing in the second half. He wasn't even but being pressured. They, field, they should have just punted. In hindsight, I've got to think this coach is going to understand that that call just didn't make too much sense. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He tackles him for a loss. That play was over before it got started. It was wide was open. Just a case of the offensive line getting beat. It wasn't pressure anything. He just fucking missed. Because reasons. It's second and 13. Ball on the 30 yard line. Oh, don't worry. I'll just fuck Inside the 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Not tackling anybody. That makes it first and goal. safety on the blitz and he'll get credit for the sack nobody was left to pick him up he disguised the blitz very well and really made a nice play on the quarterback from the 10 yard line second down he's on the run and he's tackled around the nine yard line This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Less than three minutes in the game. And it's through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. The finish line's in sight. Let's What's see happening? who wants this one more. Well, they have a little bit of time. What is but happening? I think it's very crucial that they get the ball in the end zone on this possession. 
You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And they make the stop at the 38-yard line. to the right fires it out they'll bring him down at the 50. you obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well he's got good hands and you know he's good in the open field we've got a first and ten ball on the 50. so an empty backfield with five wide receivers He tries to buy some time. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Not enough strength on that pass, and it hits the turf. Oh, boy, he wishes he had that play to do over. Could have been big yardage there. Too tight, too tight. Four down, four down. Hey, check my 50. My Ready. 180. What? Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. It's third and long, and at this stage of this game, they probably have to go to the air. A little more than two lines to go in the fourth quarter. Pass to the tight end, but he can drop it. No problem. Was the intended receiver on the play? That'll make it fourth and ten. <laughs> they're get they're getting open. It's just not they're not doing anything. I don't understand it at all. Tries to thread the needle and it's not gonna work. It's, it's just fucking useless. Everybody in this game is fucking useless. He's at the twenty. How is it? The like, ten. Touchdown, UAB! How is it even possible? That everybody in this game is this fucking useless. And he tacks on the extra point. It's insanity. Greenwell gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. Calls for the fair catch. The Blazers have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude. Because nobody's getting it's open. Really nobody's protecting anything. It's nothing. It's, it's just, just a be big interesting pile of nothing. See if nobody's this doing anything. can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made around the 44-yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. And he just gets rid of it. Probably should have hit Shaw there, but I don't trust him. Like the, the ball trajectory is not, is not high enough to, to get over somebody Ball like on that. the 44-yard line. Otherwise, it'll float, and it'll float too much, even if I try it. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down at the 26-yard line. Now 
he's scrambling. And he is drilled at the five-yard line. So the quarterback scrambles for about two yards on the play. Iowa State will have one timeout remaining. That brings up a second and goal. Five yards to the goal line. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. converts the extra point. A seven-play, 75-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. Oh, I thought I had it for a second. What a collision! I wonder if they might have just clenched it. If they can be careful with the ball, they could be able to run out the clock. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Inside give, one yard loss for the halfback. Iowa State's called their final timeout. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11. Ball on their own 49. And he's stopped behind the line. We'll give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. And that defense is getting a little excited down there. Encroachment, defense. Not that it matters. Still fourth down. Lang is back deep to oh, wait, return. Weirdly enough, they actually have to do something. And so that's going to do it. The Blazers come out on top, 29 to 21. And the Iowa State Cyclones, 21. <sighs> I'm starting to think that this hot and cold thing is a good idea to have. At least I can stop the bleeding sometimes. All 
All right, well. Now we to go play at Iowa. Ah. <laughs> uh, offensive line is terrible. I think this is probably a good good a time as any to call it a night. It has not been my night at all. An absolute nightmare. But get a chance for redemption at, at Iowa. <laughs> That's cool. Am I, am I even ranked anymore? Oh, I'm 17. Look at that. All right. Well, all right, we got recruiting. Let's see what recruiting looks like. Getting, they're getting more bonus points than us, which is a bummer. Hopefully he doesn't commit during the season and I can just steal him at the end. It'd be very annoying if I lose out on Jimmy on Joel Lanning. getting him. Either that or we're going to have to adapt a playbook. We might have to change our playbook a little bit to deal with all the, with the fact that we don't have hardly any tight ends right now. That might have to be a thing. We're not going to get him either. There, we dump 700 into him and hope we can come back. Pro potential. Oh, pro potential. That's why he's going for Alabama. What's his deal? Apparently, our athletic facilities suck. We're getting way more bonus points than we are. Damn, we're going to have to pick another tight end. not very committed. Apparently Alabama and Oregon getting ready to sign a hundred tight ends each. I think this Pearson guy is going to be our ticket. He is not very committed and he seems to be decent. as good as the other ones, but that's okay. Because we need this guy. Oh, he sucks so bad. Oh my god, he's terrible. What? We 
should have made EJ Bibbs. <laughs> Joseph Barnes. I know he's a blocking tight end. Well, at least he's as good as they say he is. Try that. Maybe Patrick Lawrence is our ticket. Is there anybody that we're dedicating points to that is a waste of time? Oof. Still in second, though. Why are those the lead schools? Like how are they getting that many bonus points? Playing time, I suppose? Okay. That makes sense. So far behind. All right, well, this is going to be a good time to hop off for the week. So, everybody, thank you for watching this absolute train wreck of a dynasty see you guys next time